Hello Oracle Database land, this is Justin, and in this Oracle Database YouTube video tutorial, I am going to show you how to replace a substitute uh, variable character um, uh, with another character. So to change what the default character is, which is an ampersand, to some other character. Um, to learn more about variables in SQL+, uh, please check out my uh, Oracle videos on my, on my database channel where I discuss those. Okay. Um, so without further ado, let's log into our database and let's uh, show you an example. So we're going to set our uh, operating system variable, Oracle SID to finance. We're going to ensure we're set properly. Oops. Which we are. And we're going to connect to our finance database by SQL Plus. Connect it. Now, I'm going to do a show user to show us that we're connected as a SysDBA user, which we are. And we're going to type in the select name from v dollar sign database to show we're connected to the correct database finance. Now we're going to do a show. We're going to do a show define. Now the show command is an SQL plus command which shows you what certain parameters of SQL plus are currently set to. SQL plus has parameters or settings, if you will, which are set by default. Um, and the define variables, I mean parameter, is currently set to ampersand, meaning that that, that this is the define. The character that's set in the defined parameter is the character to be used, it is the character which is used to tell SQL plus that a variable name follows that character. So SQL plus knows when to use variable substitution. Okay, and I'll show you an example. I have a table that I created in my database prior to shooting this video known as names. If we use the DESC, which is short for describe command, space the table name names, we will be able to see the physical structure of the table. As you can see, this table has one column, which is named the F name, with a, a character, with a data type, variable character 220. Now, I did populate this table with two rows. To view those rows, we're going to select everything from this table. So, select asterisk from names, like so. And here we are. We have John and we have Minka. So, we have two rows which are populated in this names table. Now, if I wanted to select, if I wanted my select statement to only return the value of the F name column, a row in the F name column, which has a value of Minka, I would type in the following. Select F name from names where F name is equal to Minka. Okay, so to dissect this command, what we're saying is select the column F name, rows from the column F name um, from the names table where the F name is equal has a value of Minka. And our result set is just the Minka row, and that's what we wanted it to do. Now, if we wanted to use variable substitution, we would do something like the following. We would say select ampersand. Well, for, first we would define our variable. Okay, define var shows that the var variable is not set, so we need to define it. Define var equals F name. Now that defines the variable var to have a value of f name. Now when we do a define var, we will see that the var variable is currently set to f name. So now let's tell SQL plus to use variable substitution in our query. Select ampersand, the name of the variable, var, from names, where ampersand, the name of the variable, equals mika one two mika. Sorry, just mika. Okay, so this is saying select var, which value is f name from names, where the value of var, which is f name, equals minka. So essentially the same command we issued up here. And you can see it works. It shows that the old version was was what it, is what the variable names are, and the new version, like what SQL, what Oracle um, interpreted it as, was the value was the command with the value of those uh, character of those variables. Now. The reason why the select statement did this is because the ampersand was there, and the ampersand tells SQL Plus that the character that the characters to follow it is the name of a variable, and to look up that name, that va that value of that variable. Okay, um, so we can change that because the default is an ampersand, but if we change define to another character, another character will now have that special meaning. So we can say set define Pound sign, and it has to be a special character. It can't be alphanumeric. 
Okay, it can't be an alphanumeric character. It has to be a special character. So set define pound sign. That's what I'm going to use. Now, if I do a show define, I will see that it has changed from the default, which is an ampersand, to a pound. Now, when I issue my select, use an ampersand var on each one he on on each occurrence of the variable here on my select statement. Okay. It's not. It's it's not going to work because that is not. It is not a variable anymore. Okay, it doesn't know what this is now. But if we change the ampersand to pound, we will see that it works. Why? Because we changed the. It, we changed it from an ampersand to a pound. Okay, and. Just like with variables in SQL plus, the set commands are also not persistent if you set them that way in SQL plus. So we do a show define, you will see that it's back to ampersand. And if we do a define var f name like so, and we do our select statement again, our old select statement, we will see that it now works because everything was reset. Ampersand's now here and we reset our variable, we're good. And if we were to the, the pound signs here, and because we didn't change it here, okay, it wouldn't work. Pound sign really doesn't have any meaning at that point, okay? So that's how you change character substitution, um, I mean, a variable substitution in SQL plus commands. Thank you.